The name Curacao derives from the Portuguese word meaning heart. And pulsing through its veins is a thriving art scene that adds an additional splash of color onto the island's visual landscape. Before you do anything, <laughs> you need to feel the artist in you. And wielding the paintbrush is artist, poet, musician, and Curacao native Francis Sling. I need to become the artist. No, what is that, man? What would be your artist name? Uh, how do you say banana in Papiamento? Bacoba. Can I be Bacoba? Bacoba, it sounds well something, you it's know? It's good, huh? So where do you get your inspiration from? A lot of my inspiration come from Curacao. The nature and the people, the loud way of being. I'll tell you what, you know what made me paint better? What? If you played me some music. You like that one? Bonjushi! 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 Do you feel inspired now, man? I've never been more inspired in my entire <laughs> life. Ta da! In a town known for its designer duds, Stuart Christie holds the distinction as the oldest bespoke tailor syndicate in the city. Now watch your fingers. Okay, don't stick my finger under the needle. Here goes nothing. Woo, look at that. How does it go from picking a style, picking a fabric, to then the finished product? For the bespoke service, it's 14 to 16 weeks. 14 so. to 16 weeks? Yeah. Did you um, give birth to a child in that time? I think. No, you couldn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you plan on taking Stuart Christie and what do you see for its future? I would like to work on a global brand that people know is completely made in Scotland with a little bit of a modern touch. I see the way you're looking at this suit. Eyes other direction because this suit is bespoken for. From silly characters like this to romantic ones like this to intense movie trailer voices like this. Good voice overacting is just as important as performing in person. So I'm combining the love I have for hearing my own voice with animation. So I was told that I'm here to uh, take Adam's job. Is that what's actually going on here? Uh, actually, no. Adam Devine has a job, and he's doing an awesome job at it. You haven't seen my chops today yet, all right, David? <laughs> might be, uh, Ooh, well, okay. We well. might be sending a pink slip Adam's way after today. Ah! He's getting in a bubble! You monster! We won't let you die, brother! Ah! I'm the gray one? You're the gray one, yes. Okay. Normally it's the opposite. You record the voices first, but this, since we're trying you out, we're gonna have you voice to the uh, picture. Got it. Ah! We'll save you! Uh, so after it, it beeps, it goes one, two, yeah. three, and there's an imaginary four, and I'll cue you. Okay. When do I go? Uh, about uh, three beats ago. Now oh, here we go. Whoa! Dude, this is getting heavy. Yeah. Whoa, hold on. Because they're full of honey. Oh. The bee that we keep here is European in origin, mostly the Italian honeybee Ooh. or the carniolan, which was bred. The bougie bees. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's the honeycomb we're looking at, right? Right. What are they all doing right now? They're bringing in honey, and then they're curing it, and then they're covering it with wax. Let's switch spots, because I'm going to open it up. Oh, yeah. Look so. At that. Wow. I'm holding a sheet with a thousand bees on it right now, mm -hmm. and they're all just going about their business as if nothing's happening. Right. So then essentially what bees are doing is collecting food and stockpiling it for the winter. Yeah. And as beekeepers, you guys are then going in and being like, yeah, we'll take some of that. Yeah, kind of. But we're respectful when yeah. we do it. Why bees? A long time ago, I started working with my uncle, who's a commercial beekeeper, and the minute he opened a hive, I just fell in love with them. The smell, the sounds, all these females working together to produce this incredible product. Bees are female. All the worker bees are female. So there's the queen bee and then there's all of her underlings essentially. Yeah, in fact, everyone thinks the queen is in charge. It's not true. It's all her daughters that make the decisions and do all the work. Here, let me show you a trick. Okay. Oh, wow. And then put this in and then you avoided squishing any bees. I mean, this is absolutely chock full of honey. There we go. That's Good honey job. harvest. Is this important?
for people who've experienced maybe emotional or physical trauma. Someone like that we would check in and maybe start with breathing and holding hands and the fact that they can stop it when they want, you know, allows people to breathe into their bodies and become a little more familiar with it again. Josia, do you feel like some of your stress has been relieved? Um, I feel very relaxed. After having some initial success and earning my cuddle wings, I feel like it's time for a client of my own while Christina observes through surveillance video. And even though Sean wasn't what I was expecting, I'm determined to use everything I've learned thus far. Just if you're feeling any negativity, breathe that right out of your nostrils. So how often uh, do, you, do you do cuddle sessions there, Sean? Uh, if I can get it once a month, I think that's nice. When you're in somebody's embrace, it says mammals. That's a beautiful place to be. Mm-hmm. While there was hesitation or fear, I think he learned a lot. He did a great job by the end, you know. I, of course he was nervous. I mean, anyone would be the first time. Once you strip down the surface and you take the uncomfortableness away from it, that just makes it a human experience. <laughs> <laughs> What's your regiment like to stay in as good a shape as you are? Well, I train three days a week. You've heard of muscle memory. Yep. Well, muscle forgets too. But if you really want to be a bodybuilder, let's learn the whole body. So being a bodybuilder is about having a more complete physique. Right. Everything has to be proportions, and not only the cut and the size, but everything has to be right. The most important thing you have to have are your abs. How's mine? No, uh, it's good. You got the abs there, so all you need is to take off a little fat. This guy, man, this is like a washboard. I can do my laundry on that thing. One, two, three, win. How's my form, Jim? Good. Do you see any girls checking me out? No. But to compete in a bodybuilding contest, these guns need plenty of ammunition. What is this delicious looking concoction you're scooping into my bowl right now? It's mainly cottage cheese fortified with tuna. Cottage cheese fortified with tuna? Uh-huh. Sounds appetizing. Remember, you're not living to eat, you're eating to live. Got it. Mmm. <clears throat> you're thinking about how it tastes. I'm thinking about a lot of things. I'm thinking about how I'm going to look at the show. So that's what I need to think of. Do not think about how it tastes or smells or looks. Just think about the show. Ever since I watched the movie Arachnophobia when I was a kid, it completely messed me up. Every time I see a spider now, I think it's gonna jump on my face and inject poison uh, into me. Yep. Is that a real fear? That's a real fear, okay. but it's an unfounded fear. So these various fears you're mentioning, have you ever felt they were irrational? I'll let you answer that. Yes, they're irrational. Ah! What do you think it is about spiders that's so scary to people? You know, they're creepy, yeah. they're hairy, uh -huh. they are poisonous. But most spiders don't even know you're there. They can't even see you. And you're a thousand times bigger than they are. <laughs> and I told you to get some exposure, right? We have mm -hmm. exposure therapy, tolerable exposure. I think I was fully immersed. Look at that, dude, it's eating it alive. <laughs> what are those, those are what? These are black widows. These are venomous. So. Again, we're gonna go. Okay, these can't jump, right? Oh, 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 oh dude. Wow. Save it. <gasps> oh, hell no. Uh, oh. <laughs> we got a runner. Yeah, you got it. I think Mad Max meets on Fury Road and has a baby at Burning Man in the middle of the California Mojave Desert. That's Wasteland Weekend. Why am I dressed like Rufio from Hook? Because you were wandering around out there like a piece of meat. I'm trying to keep you alive, son. And where am I? This is the safe meeting area for all of these tribes from all over the wastelands. You've got road crews like mine. You've got jugger crews like the Ferals. Everybody's out for what's left. Because usually everyone's at war. Everyone's at war. Ready, script. It's just like one week out of the year, we get to take all this pent up road warrior Mad Max aggression and just go all out. That's what we do. Woo! Essentially, it's just free reign and it's, it's every man for himself. Defense, defense. And when humanity is stripped to its most basic form, only the fittest survive. Think this is far enough? Yeah. 
uh, the buzzards will get them. Sure. Good lunch, man. Yeah, pretty sure bananas is dead. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.